Good morning, guys. Good morning. Look at this crowd. I love it. Welcome, welcome. All right. So we have some visiting Rotarians and guests. Miss Madam, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, should I stand up or? Just, yeah, just stand up. Okay. VIP table in the back, ladies. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> We're from Liberty Arts. I'm a professor at Liberty Arts. I'm a treasurer of my and I'm Grayson. This is Mason. Hi, Grayson. I've been here a couple of days. I'm Wendy. Welcome, guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Um, I'm uh, Dave oh. Fraser. I'm president of the Mad River Club. And last July, uh, we teamed up with the uh, Old Town Eureka Club and uh, went to Pepsi, uh, reserved uh, an area there, and uh, we had some uh, uh, pizza and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. And the um, district governor was there. And we had so much fun, we decided we should do it again this year and this year meaning next year when they come back and uh, uh, include everybody from uh, the whole area so uh, just want to invite you all uh, the first sunday in june it's the first opening weekend of the crabs uh, june 4th and we reserve the right er right side area the one that has all the picnic benches and everything and uh we're going to have a banner made um, uh, that will be in the crab stadium out on the uh, 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 outfield wall for the entire season. Uh, uh, would enjoy it if uh, each club would kick in 125 bucks for the staff. That's good advertising. Uh, we'll have the, the names of the various clubs on it. But uh, the most important thing is to come and have fun uh, uh, June 4th. Ian? We have one more from Interact here, but this is Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Did I miss anybody? Okay. So we didn't have screens last week, so let's celebrate some uh, birthdays and some anniversaries. This is Chris and Lisa. She's sick, so they're not here. I know Luke had a birthday. I know Rebecca had a birthday. There's one more I'm missing, but nobody's acting really excited. So <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, here was the district conference. Terry was giving out Paul Harris's like Easter eggs. Um, this is uh, past district governor, Bruce Campbell, um, his memorial. We're just going through this so, because you didn't see it last week. Um, here's the Women in Rotary meeting at the Griffin. The next one's in it's January. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quarterly, so that'll what, be, what yeah. Um, Taste of the Holidays. Had a, looks like a fun meeting. <laughs> well, it was also on Zoom. Yeah, that's like you go up uh, yeah, we had a wonderful uh, meeting last night. Thank you, um, all those that attended. Um, I just wanted to uh, put a shout out um, for tickets. Brian's been doing a great job, but he, we don't know how many tickets we've sold. So if you can get the money into Brian, that'd be wonderful. Um, uh, you can Venmo and just put Taste of the Holidays um, if you can't get to them with the, the cash, but please do that. I think we have seven tickets left that are unaccounted for. Brian, you can that haven't been assigned to anybody. So um, if you're having troubles uh, selling tickets, um, try, but um, if not, you can bring them back and we can give them to people that are, are gonna go. Um, so go ahead and do that because we only, I think we have seven left, right, Brian? I think seven, yeah. Yeah, okay. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, with tickets, um, Normally with club members, we say, if you can uh, go ahead and um, uh, if you're gonna enjoy the event, then you need to pay for uh, a ticket for yourself. And otherwise, um, if you're working the event and you're there most of the night, uh, it's your discretion um, really, as far as uh, that goes. Because I know a lot of the times you're there, you're working hard and you're only getting a few minutes. Um, so um, that's the official policy on that. Um, so it's really uh, up to your discretion if you're if you're working there. Um, let's see. We're going to send out. We have a couple of asks for for um, uh, donation items for raffle. Um, we're going to send out their specific items that we're looking for, and uh, a couple of them are are fairly large. And so if you can't. Um, if you want to contribute a little bit, like 20 bucks or something, just put in the sign up genius that I can contribute 20 bucks, for instance. Uh, that would really help. Um, we're nearly done with uh, getting the raffle baskets uh, complete, but we do have a few small asks. So thank you. Is there anything that I forgot? Anything? Anything? Okay, thank you. Oh, we do have the PSA. Did you get the PSA? I did not. Oh. Well, I'm sure I did, but okay. I, didn't, I didn't have it included it. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Um, who else was at mini golf? Was it just the two of them? <laughs> okay. Miss um, Amy Scolari. You want me to say some words? Okay. <laughs> to the public. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm Amy Scolari. I'm the development director and community outreach coordinator at Wild Souls Ranch. 
We are located in Fortuna uh, on 17 acres that we just purchased last year due to a grant we received from the USDA. Um, so that's really exciting. We do equine assisted growth and learning services for youth that have experienced trauma. Um, so it's intense mental health services. It's not writing lessons. Um, we get that question a lot. I wasn't prepared to make a presentation, so I'm not sure how much Vanessa wants me to say or how much time I'm supposed to take up. Um, but I'm, okay. Um, we have a couple different programs. I'm happy to answer questions. <laughs> I, um, yeah, that's kind of the brief spiel. Murray, oh yeah, Ian. They are referred through a number of different channels. It could be like a social worker or a teacher or a parent or um, really anybody can fill out the referral form. And then we see kind of what program they qualify for and go from there. Yeah. Anybody else? No. Okay. Okay. So Marty, hope oh, just stay right there. Okay. okay. It'll be worth it. Okay. <laughs> So, um, in honor of Marty's work during Oktoberfest, I asked uh, if he could pick an organization that he would like to donate some funds to. And he picked Wild Souls Ranch. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I grew up with uh, up City. I grew up at my aunt's ranch working with horses a lot. And uh, they're just, they're comforting. And they they get they get with you. And yeah, they're really good for what you're doing. I really appreciate what you guys do. Oh, so, thank you so thanks. much. So, in honor of Marty, and on thank behalf you. of my club, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Can I shake your hand? <laughs> So yeah, that's your your money at work. We're working so hard to fundraise and fundraise and fundraise, and this is the benefit of it. It's so cool, and it—I mean, bonus—it stays in our club. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, tangents only. Um, and then Ian, could you talk a little bit about some good polio news? There has been good news lately. There's uh, been no new wild polio virus cases in the last week, which is a new start, if you will, wow, that's bright. Um, which is great. And, uh, you know, we all know that it's literally only a plane ride away. We've seen some cases pop up in uh, New York uh, area. Uh, but the really good news is that Rotary and the World Health, Health Organization and all the other organizations that are pulling to get this done uh, have committed, I, I can't remember the number, but it's a ton of money to get it done by 2026. And the, when you go through and read the plans, I don't understand how they get it that far, but to have a very clear plan of how to actually finish this, it's amazing. And so 2026 is realistic given the current state of affairs. We're still endemic in Afghanistan and Pakistan and you know, little spot fires here and there, uh, but we are closing in and that's, that's a huge, huge project coming to what, almost 40 years to fruition. So be excited to be part of that. And that's part of why we do the final foundation mm -hmm. auctions. So. Mm -hmm. so that was a lead into why we're uh, auctioning off items today. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to happen next week. But yes, come on up. Okay. Come on up. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Archer. Good morning. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, as of yesterday, um, the soccer team, uh, we won the league. Unbeaten. So this is the shirt that we Then, as of last week, I won Homecoming King. It's been a great exchange here, and I hope to make more memories as the year goes on. And thank you for the support. 
uh, in San Francisco. Uh, the Rotary Blues Boston. So we met with other exchange students who are also on exchange here and further away. So we met in San Francisco for like a get together. Wow. San Francisco is really a beautiful city. Yeah. 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 And then Cairo, do you want to talk a little bit about anything? <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Kyrie Cheney, and I'm going to be the Outbound Exchange student next year. Um, uh, what was it like interviewing for this? Interviewing was not as stressful as I thought it was going to be. It was actually kind of fun. I was just like having a conversation about myself. And yeah, it was a good experience, and I'm really glad I got chosen to go to Jason. How hard was it waiting for that call? It was pretty hard. I was waiting. I was like, oh no, what should I do? What if I don't get chosen? What should I do with that? And yeah, but I was really excited when I got the call. We're excited for you. It's all new for you right now. So you know, look to the others that are doing it, and. Uh, we're all behind you. This whole room right here is all full of 40 seats. Welcome to the club.